hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will add the reloading system to our rifle because it is necessary for a rifle to have a reload system so for that open up the rifle script and then right here in the rifle ammunition and shooting at the top we will create a private integer and let's name this as maximum ammunition and we will set this to 20 and then after this we will create a private integer mag or you can say magazine and the total number of magazines this rifle will have is 15 and then after this we will create another private integer and let's name this as present ammunition after this we need a public float by the name of reloading time and let's set the reloading time to 1.3 f if you are using the same assets as mine then you can leave this as 1.3 but if you have your own player your own rifle then you can change this according to your animation in your rifle okay then after this let's create another private pool and let's name this as set reloading this will be equals to false by default okay so these are the necessary variables which is needed for this reloading system so now first of all right here we will create a awake function and in here when the game starts we will set the present ammunition to the maximum ammunition okay as you can see right here the present ammunition is 0 and the maximum ammunition is 20 so it will be equals to the maximum ammunition when the game starts and right here as you can see we have total 15 magazines for the rifle so we want to decrease this magazines once we finish up this present ammunition okay it is 20 so when we fire 20 times then we want this magazine to show that there are now 14 magazines left and when we shot 20 bullets again then 13 then 12 11 10 and like that it will simply decrease okay so for that what we can do right here inside this shoot function is to check for the magazines okay and before checking for the magazines let's just create a reload function we will make this reload function uh, i enumerator so we will say i enumerator and we will name this as a reload and you guys don't need to understand that much what is this i enumerator because it is really complicated but let me tell you a little bit about this is that i enumerator is a dot net type that is used to fragment large collection or files or simply to pass a iteration in our case we want to pause the iteration because we want to reload okay as you know we have the reloading time as 1.3 seconds so we will stop or you can say we will pause the iteration for 1.3 seconds okay so that's why we are using this i enumerator so when we are reloading we don't want our player to move okay we don't want our player to sprint or you can say or to run we just want to stop the player and when we when he just reload the weapon then we want to activate then the walking and running and etc etc so as you know this is the rifle script and right here we have the player script and we have the player speed and the player sprint variable right there so in order to access these two on this rifle script right here at the top we need to make a connection between these two script so in order to do that we will 
just simply create a public player script and we will name this as player so this simply connects this player script with this rifle script okay now we can access this all public variables or public functions but we don't have any public functions right here as you can see so we can't access them but we can access this two variables and whatever variable right here which is public okay so now if we scroll down right here in the reload as you know that we name this as player so we will type right here that player dot player speed and as you can see it give us the suggestion it means that they both are now connected so player dot player speed will be equals to 0 f okay and we will also make the uh, player dot player sprint as 0 f okay we don't want the player to move or to run and we will set the reloading to true okay and then for checking if it is reloading or not we will simply say tbook.log reloading and right here we want to play the reloading animation so in order to do that we will simply say animator dot set bool and let's set the reloading parameter to true and guys go and watch the animator videos and then you will know about this okay so don't skip any video after this what we want to do as i told you we are using this enumerator for pausing the iteration and we want to pause that for 1.3 f or you can say for the reloading time so right here we will simply say yield return okay you can just simply uh, follow me right here okay there is nothing to understand that much in here so we will simply say wait for seconds and for how many seconds we want to wait we want to wait for the seconds which is set to this reloading time and as you can see it is 1.3 seconds so it will stop the player it will set the role is reloading to true it will show us this reloading message in the console and it will then play this animation and the iteration will be paused for uh, for the reloading time okay which is 1.3 seconds after that when we start the iteration what we want to do we want to simply stop the reloading animation so in order to do this we will simply type reloading and let's set this to false and then after this we want to update the ammo so we will uh, equal the present ammunition to the maximum ammunition again okay as you know when we start the game we set the present ammunition to the maximum ammunition so now if the maximum ammunition is 20 the present will be also 20 but when we finish that ammunition then it will be zero and when it becomes zero we will reload the weapon and when all these things happens then we will simply again set the present ammunition to the maximum ammunition so this is just a simple logic for that okay and then after this that what we want to do we want to just uh, reset the player speed as well okay so we will say player dot player speed and let's set this to what was it to 1.9 f okay 1.9 f and after this we will set the player dot player sprint to 3 okay and after this we will set the is reloading to false And that was just a simple reload function so now we have this reload function okay now we want to call this function when the present ammunition becomes equals to zero so for that right here in the update 
we will first of all check if the set reloading is true or false then we want to just simply return and then we will check right here we will check if the present ammunition is less than or equals to zero okay then what we want to do we want to call the reload function then so for calling that we will say start quality and in here we will call the reload function and then we will simply say return okay and right here we are simply starting the iteration using the start quarantine the start quarantine is actually a method that can pause execution and return control to the unity but then continue where it left off on the following frame okay in most situation when you call a method it runs to completion and then return control to the calling method plus any optional return values so you can simply say that the start quarantine is a method to call a enumerator function it is similar to just calling a simple word function okay but the difference is that you can use it on only enumerator functions because this type of function is unique as it can allow you to use a specific yield function and not that you must return something okay so that's why we use the return okay so now when the ammunition becomes zero it will simply you know, call this reload function and it will reload the weapon and it will set the present ammunition to the maximum ammunition which is 20 okay but now we also want to decrease the magazines okay so for that what we will do right here we leave a comment where we say that check for mag so right here first of all we will say that if the mag or you can say the magazine equals to zero then we will show some ui text to the player that you are out of ammo as you see in most of the game that shows that out of ammo or something like that okay so right here we will show that text okay so we will show that the ammo out text okay but for now let's just leave that right here when the present ammunition becomes equals to zero then what we want to do we want to decrease the number of magazines so if we fire 20 bullets then it will come right here and check if the present ammunition equals to zero then it will decrease one mag from right here so now the number of mags is 14 and when it becomes the present ammunition becomes zero again then the number of magazines will be 13 and like that it will gradually decrease okay so now we can simply save this get back to unity and right here if we click on this tommy gun we can't see any variables right here but we need to provide the player script right there so we can simply oh okay we need to i guess give that player there okay just drag and drop that player in there and now if we change to the debug mode as you can see we can see the uh, maximum ammunition the number of max present ammunition and the next time to shoot is reloading all of that so let me remove that maximize on play so that you guys can see how this will usual change now as you can see the present ammunition was zero and now it becomes 20 let me show it to you again as you can see now the number of uh, present ammunition is zero and when we start the game it will become 20 as you can see it becomes 20 so now if we try to shoot a bullet okay it doesn't decrease the present ammunition because we forgot to decrease the present ammunition gradually one by one when we shoot okay so for that write down below this if condition we will say present ammunition minus minus okay when we shoot we will just simply decrease the present ammunition one by one 
okay that's it now get back to unity again now let's play the game okay present demo is 20 now it's 18 and when we fire as you can see now as you can see the number of magazines is now 14 and the present ammunition is 20 okay you can notice this area now if you try to shoot again now as you can see it reloads the weapon and the magazine is now 13 when we shoot again as you can see he reloads the weapon and now the number of magazines is 12 when we shoot again now he reloads and the magazine is now 11 let's shoot again okay he is reloading now he is firing he is reloading he is firing and like that when the number of magazines becomes zero then we will not be able to shoot okay let me make it zero as you can see the set reloading becomes true now it is false it is true now when we are loading and now it is false okay now the number of magazines is now zero but as you can see he can still fire the bullet that is because right here we didn't type return okay so make sure to type return right there we will add some other code right here uh, as well okay as I told you we will show some text that you are out of ammo or ammo out something like that but for now let's just simply add return and now if we play the game and let me finish up this magazines really quick okay let me pause the video right here now as you can see our number of mag is three now that shoot all of these three magazines okay now he's reloading now number of magazines is one now he's reloading and now as you can see we can't shoot a bullet as you can see because the number of magazines are now finished and now when the number of magazines are finished we will simply show a text somewhere right here or right here with the rifle that you are out of ammo okay so that's it okay so now we have successfully added the reloading system and now we have the amount of present ammunition and we have the number of mags and we have all of that so with this done see you guys in the next video